Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our first deck of our 12-hour stream today, we're doing a 12-hour stream for hitting the Harry's goal uh, for our, ref our referrals, the sponsor referrals. So we have a bunch of cool decks lined up for the day. It'll be an, a good, fun Monday. Even Hawkeye's here, ready to go. And so we're going to start off with Sultai Vanifar. So we didn't get to this deck last night. Yeah, I know. This is your favorite, isn't it? Uh, we didn't get to this deck last night um, because we ran out of time. So we're starting off the day with it today. As you can tell, we got a lot of the 3D cards with this one. So definitely excited to try it out. The only ones that are not available are Basic Forest. Yeah, no, that's lame. You don't have basic lands for the 3D cards yet. And Hintelin Harbor. They didn't make a 3D card for Hintelin Harbor. So we'll just kind of ignore that that's there. Kind of put that down there. All right, all better. But besides that, uh, all we have is just a bunch of value creatures here. We have our Explorer package. We have Midnight Reaper to draw more cards. We have Chupacabra and Hostage Taker to destroy our opponent's creatures or take them. And we have Biogenic Ooze to overwhelm our opponent on the battlefield. Of course, Prime Speaker Vanifar is our uh, just the... Um, highlight of the deck where we can turn uh, creatures that already have used their ability into other more useful creatures. So that's what we got here for today. Uh, we've played this deck one other time and did pretty well with it. I'm expecting to do pretty well with it again. Sultai cards are pretty good in this format. And uh, let's give it a try. Sultai Vanifar. So, so this week I've been putting all donations towards the cosmetics. We got a couple uh, gem packs yesterday for some donations, and to be able to get these um, these three D cards. And so this is a perfect time for if you're doing it, if you'd like a donation deck to do them. And as you can see here, we got Vanifar for our for our avatar because we are a Vanifar deck. Forest, forest, says the opponent. Basically, so I could just take another turn off with Wild Growth Walker, but that kind of makes my other turns the worst. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the Jade Light even though we don't get the counters on this Wild Growth Walker. Pick up a couple overgrown tombs. So next turn we get to double spell. Uh, I was thinking after Forest Forest, I was thinking maybe uh, Simic uh, Reclamation. All right, well, let's get Vanifar in play. Poor opponent using a starter deck against our 3 would out Siltai deck. Oh man, we can do so many cool things. Let's just grow the Wild Growth Walkers a ton, though. And we'll activate Vanifar, get rid of the Branch Walker, get another Jade Light. We'll keep the Jellyfish Hydra Beast. So they double block, I trade with both. It's like not even that good of a trade for me. Honestly, but we'll go ahead and do it. Our opponent should certainly double block over single blocking. The only reason why it's maybe a double block's not worth it is if our opponent has like a Galta 
that they want to get out. That was the main reason why I was playing the Wild Growth Walker there. Never mind. Their block was just fine. <laughs> uh, the only fours we can get are Hostage Taker and Chupacabra. I can play Hydrocrasis and turn Hydrocrasis into a Jade Light. But let's go let's go this way. Let's go hostage taker on my Jade Light Ranger. And then sack the hostage taker. Get the Jade Light Ranger back. Um because of course this doesn't matter because we have to do the exploring before we search, but we're gonna be searching. So basically, do I want this chupacabra in the deck? Not really. Um, I mean, I guess I keep the Midnight Reaper in the deck. We're at millions of life. So we turn that Daylight Ranger into a 4-3. And get a new Biogenic Ooze. So much value. I think I just do that again. I mean, I guess I could take their thing. Now. I could take this 2-2 two -two Vigilant. Bleh. I definitely wanted another Biogenic Ooze in play. Oh, I only have one other Chupacabra. That's fine. Alright, now next turn we'll turn the Chupacabra into the, our third Biogenic Ooze. And Vanifar's growing also, it's an Ooze. It's an Elf Ooze. Ow. Stop killing my wild growth walkers, opponent. I should have shocked in so I could make another ooze. Hey, Bloney Pony. The Sunbirds don't. Uh, invocation deck was from Punk Boy RD. And. Both that and the Thran Temporal Gateway. Those are two decks that uh, that were donated just for for me to make, and haven't made them yet. We're gonna make them, you know, later on in the stream. And Punkwire D got the free donation deck for signing up for Quip. So Punkwire D got the got a Quip toothbrush. And if you get a Quip toothbrush, you get a free donation deck. That's what they did. So I haven't decided what we want to do yet with Invocation or with Rand Temporal Gateway. We'll kind of decide that together in chat later on whenever we make those decks. Alright, so this is just kind of mono green stuff. Nothing to be too worried about, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know if we need a sideboard, honestly. Probably don't. We could do legendary dinos. Okay, yeah, we could certainly do that. 
Yeah, haven't haven't decided what we want to do yet. Legendary dinos is probably a, a good way to go. Maybe dragons and dinos. We could have like legendary dragons and like legendary dinos and put them together. This sad Hinchelin Harbor having to be our only non 3D card. What is this vial that Vanifar is holding? So I want this card, but I also want land. Can graveyard it. Is it really an aether vial? Because in this picture, there's no there's no vial anywhere. But suddenly, for an avatar, she's got like this vial that's like huge. All right, that's annoying. That's officially annoying. So I could just kill that Branchwood armor with Vivian. Or I can play Branchwalker and sack Branchwalker to get a Jade Light. Getting three triggers, making this a 6 8 and gain, gaining nine life. We'll, just, we'll kill the Branchwood armor. Would you like to see? Sometimes restoration means retribution. The problem is I don't really want to sack any of these. I don't know. I guess I could have turned Jade Light into Chupacabra. Doesn't seem that great. How our opponent does not attack is unclear. Balance comes. No, you cannot. You have to activate Vanifar during your turn. You cannot block and then sacrifice. All right, and time to get a bunch of explore stuff. Explore, explore, explore. We take Wild Growth Walker to another level here in this deck. So they double block with Courser and Tyrant. We just kill Tyrant. Yeah, this is the best Vanifar deck in my opinion that that I that I've played. I mean, I guess I should be ticking up first. No one knows the wilds like I do. And I should be activating this before playing the Branch Walker. I mean, we're just, this game's already over. It doesn't really matter that I'm playing a little loose here. Okay. 
Because we got this one. Meet my newest friend. All right, let's get another ooze. More ooze. So we can either get our third biogenic ooze by sacking Chupacabra, or we can get another Jade Light by sacking the Branch Walker and grow these Wild Growth Walkers. Either one's just an awesome, is a great option. Yeah, we still have the other. It doesn't really matter which one we do, to be honest. Yeah, today is 12. No, I don't usually start this early in the, in the day. Today we're doing a 12 hour stream for meeting our Harry's sponsor referral goal earlier, uh, or I guess last weekend. Usually I'm on from 3 to 10 Eastern. Uh, that's my normal stream day, but today we're going noon to midnight, and then we'll be back to 3 to 10 starting tomorrow. <laughs> it looks like we have two options, win more or win a lot more. They're basically both win a lot more. <laughs> Or all of our options are win more at this point. All right. That's a creature. Yeah, Keith, thank you so much for uh, working with the people over there at Endorse. I really do appreciate that. I'm working on the... The... Uh, making sure that these sponsor referrals count and everything. All right, want to know. I'll take this hand, so we're going to... You know, so our, our hand can certainly be too slow, you know, with like four and a couple fives. We'll see. We'll, we're leading with the Drowned Catacomb. Well, now we can lead with the Overgrown Tomb. Because, as I say, Drowned Catacomb wouldn't come into play untapped. I'm glad we're playing against a slower deck with this slower hand. The Avatar or the, the card? Ah. Yeah, unfortunately, avatars don't have voice lines or anything right now. Ah, it's Esper. Well, Midnight Reaper is a really good draw. Ah, yep. Elf Ooze Wizard. I know my responsibility. So right now they only have one white source if they're thinking Kaya's Wrath. Uh, cast down's a bad draw. 
I'm getting too old for this. I don't think I saw the new Gideon. You know what? I'm not done yet. I still don't have two white sources. So the thing about playing Jade Light Ranger is it makes sure that like we have two creatures, like any two of these. So basically what I'm, okay. So just activating the Biogenic Ooze is like the best card advantage wise, but then they just use removal on Biogenic Ooze and then Teferi stays alive. If I play Jade Light Ranger, they have to have removal spell for two creatures to make sure Jade Light, or sorry, to make sure Teferi stays alive. And so I think it's worth it to play Jade Light Ranger. Plus, there's always a decent chance that Jade Light. Um, that didn't go according to replaces plan. itself anyway with the land. Did I see Angrath's Wrath? I did not. Wow. I must be sitting on like a bunch of... Bunch of Kaya's Wraths and the one white mana. So Gideon Blackblade, one white white, four loyalty, as long as it's your turn, Gideon Blackblade is a 4-4 human soldier creature with indestructible. It's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that we dealt to Gideon Blackblade during your turn. And uh, minus six has exile up to target non-land permanent. And plus one is another target creature you control gains your choice of either vigilance, lifelink, or indestructible. Yeah, it's very similar to Gideon of the Trials. That minus six ability is no joke, though. All right, Negate your S, Contempt, Tyrant, Tyrant, taking out Cast Down. Vanifar. Choop. Don't love Wild Growth Walker either. Do I even want the one prime speaker in? If we go like this, could just play Crushing Canopy. One Wild Growth Walker and one Vanifar. They're not spectacular, but they can do with, they can do something. Oh, awesome, Robert! Yeah, glad you're glad you're liking it. So question is, do you think this deck could run one Find Finality instead of the fourth Crasis? That's interesting. Their hand must have been really bad. Or something came up and they had to go. We are playing in the afternoon. Never know what could happen there. 
So I definitely think the deck could play a find finality. I'm not sure if over the fourth crisis is where you'd really want to have that slot, but it could be. I mean, crisis is just such a great card, though. But that that could be. Could see playing it over you know a handful of other things, like maybe over a midnight reaper as well. But yeah, the the deck could probably use a find finality. Sparkles. Forsaken Sanctuary Plains. That looks like the deck we're going to be playing next. I don't. I don't really like Memorial to Folly. No, I wouldn't. I don't think it would. I wouldn't like it. No, I, I don't want a Memorial to Folly in the deck. Just having, you know, it's a, a basic swamp that comes into play tapped. I don't think it's it's worth it for what the card does for this, this three color deck. This deck is, you know, trying to play stuff on turn two and turn three and turn four and turn five reliably. And we don't have cards like Llanowar Elf that fill the curve really nicely for like whenever you need to put a tap land in or give you extra mana for when you have the tap land. Finding well, that's too bad. <clears throat> yeah, we got Cantrip Crisis. I was hoping they were going to be playing that Seraph last turn, where we would have sacked the Jade Light, got Hostage Taker, and had our, our mana and Hostage Take the, and then you'll know, recast the Seraph. So, <clears throat> big thing our opponent could do here, which would be bad for us, would be playing a Lyra. Okay, not Lyra. We don't have lethal. We can trade Jade Light for Sarah and give them two one ones and put them down to one. It's a reasonable trade. Because again, if they would have a Lyra to follow up, I don't really want that Seraph to have lifelink. I mean, they're, they only have one... My opponent only has one block, so attacking before casting in this in this scenario does not matter. With how my opponent's taking lethal, they only have one option of having to block the Jade Light Ranger. They have no other option. So, with this in this scenario, we can just do the easy play our card first and pass through the turn. So can it be? Seems to be kind of decent. With them being an Ixalan's binding deck and probably have Lyra. I'm not sure how much I want cast down. And Reaper. Not sure about how much I want Reaper. Do we think we can get away with no cast downs? No, maybe go one cast down, one Reaper out. Ooze also, this isn't usually probably the best matchup for Biogenic Ooze. Then they can just go over the top of, top of it. 
let's try this. It's a little on the slow side, you know, pretty high mana curve. Only the nine twos. No, I don't have any Assassin's Trophy in the deck. That will be a keep. If on Mythic Spoiler, if you click on the card, so like the Angrath is in Spanish right now, but if you click on it, it'll tell you what the text is. And so that's why we played the branch walker first before playing a land in case we got a shock land, which we did. I really wish Breeding Pool didn't have like the unnecessary sound effects that it has. And it looks like the opponent's just kind of stuck on two lands again. Or I guess not really again, but two lands for them, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I was supposed to check out Angrath's Ender. Is that this card? No, that's this card. Stop killing my Vanifar! I like my Vanifar. VR Sorcery. Choose one. Sack an artifact, a creature, or a planeswalker. Notice I didn't say fair. Not too bad. All right, so we're killing Kaya and attacking them for three. You better watch your back from here on out. Hmm. Or green. And I'm just gonna make another token. You know, basically making a token and, or playing a Jade Light is kind of the same thing. There we go. They had Kai's Wrath. So, ended up being a solid play. Bell Haunt. That thing's going to block pretty well. You can't stop nature.
All right, so shocking in for the to be able to have the crushing canopy available in case my opponent plays a flyer, so we can like crushing canopy and uh, and untap. You know, like the the two life isn't really uh, vital to us, especially with having crises that are going to gain more life and everything like that. So of course they could use removal spell to kill, you know, to take out both my Jade Lights, but then they're not doing anything else with their turn. I've seen things that would break someone like you. I mean, how do I pass up all these crises? I don't think I can. All right, later, Aura Sonic. Pretty easy 3-0 so far. Starting the day off well. That's a good point. So Angrath An Anger costs one less mana than Bedevil. You know, Bedevil isn't really seeing too much play, and for one less mana, you ha you make them sacrifice. You don't get to target. And it's like the same thing: it's artifact creature, planeswalker, and it's also sorcery, not instant. All right, we need another green source. Hooray, another green source. Yeah, I'll take a couple of breaks every once in a while, logistics man. Thanks, like I'll, I'll have to, um, in about, let's see, it's one o'clock, so in about an hour or two, I'm gonna have to feed Hawkeye. Later on this, after, like this evening, I'll have to go let the dogs out. Which newly announced card am I most excited about? It's a good question. I haven't found anything. Let's see, nothing comes top of mind. Let's see. I guess my favorite card so far is probably Paradise Druid. That's my kind of card. A two mana Bird of Paradise that has Hexproof as long as it's untapped. All right, not a not a great hand against mono blue. Would have been a good hand against other decks, but not against mono blue. Do we want to play Carnage Tyrant against mono blue? We take those cards out. Hmm. No, nah, maybe not. I think I like Vanifar. Yeah, I think I like Vanifar here. But, you know, we can take out one. I think I want the other two. I don't really know what else I want to take out here. I like these cards. I guess I could maybe take out the Contempt. I want to have plenty of removal, but we do have a good amount of removal. I like how Contempt is a removal spell we get to play on our opponent's turn, and so they have to like use mana to protect their creature on the, on their turn, and then we untap in Chupacabra, and then they have to have mana again for it. You know, like I really like the instant speed.
So I don't think like Contempt being too expensive. Because it's instant speed, I, I really like it quite a bit. Maybe I just play one Vanifar. I guess I'm just playing one Vanifar. I can't really see anything else that I want to take out. I am not excited about the Teferi Planeswalker. It is, it is certainly good. Uh, but it's not a card that I'm excited about. Uh, we are on the play. Expansive hand again. I wouldn't mind drawing a two drop here to start with. Ex is the is the MCQ after the new set is released? If that's the case, you know, it's just impossible to know what to, to play. Wild Breath Walker, definitely good draw step. Gets us the two mana card. Fill in the curve. Alright, and now we know that they don't have the counter spell for Jade Light. So yeah, it's basically impossible to know what, what to play right now, like as far as like uh, whenever the new set comes out. Because, you know, like, we just don't know all the cards, all that kind of stuff. I would say that as far as what previews are looking at, looking like right now, Esper Control is strong and Esper Control is looking to get more stuff. So Negate is good, but are we going to actually be able to cast Negate ever? We have 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. So while I like Negate, it just doesn't look like we're going to be able to cast it ever with this hand. Oh, you're not going to run a deck with new cards anyway? Gotcha. So even though, even though getting Vanifar on the battlefield would be pretty nice, and so like I could keep the Jade Light around and play Vanifar, and then be able to have the be able to sack the Jade Light to be able to get you know a Chubacabra or Hostage Taker in a future turn while our opponent's tapped out, just killing their their thing is uh, really nice. So if you're not playing any new cards, maybe just go with Sultai. It's just a, a really strong deck, and it doesn't really have too many holes that you need new cards to help fill. And yeah, like just Sultai could be a good choice for you. It's hard to say though because you know like depending on your, your play style and decks you, you know decks you like to play all that kind of stuff I could certainly see playing hmm. certainly see playing like Asper Control uh, Teamer Reclamation or Simic Nexus either of those kind of decks that don't really care about what the opponent's doing. Like, if people are trying to, like, play all these new Planeswalkers that are kind of fun and everything, if you're just playing blue-green Nexus of Fate and just try to take all the turns and everything, that, that could certainly be a good option. 
Yeah, our avatar is Vanifar. Yep. So our Wild Growth Walker isn't doing stuff. Let's play this Krasis. I want to save the branch walker for whenever wild growth walker does stuff but getting jade light means we don't have any oozes to sack the chupacabra for so getting getting jade light here means that we can go get another chupacabra or hostage taker with this or we can get another branch walker or another jade light ranger with that And I think we're just on the get more Jade Light Rangers part of my day. I don't know. I could could just hostage take the Surge Mare. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Oh, I don't have Deckmaster up, sorry. I forgot to pull that up this morning. It should be up momentarily. There's not really a, a real good Bant midrange deck. Soulfly is kind of the better Bant. Keeping that on top because we don't really need to show our opponent more more cards. With that being a light, lethal attack. So, just whatever it was, I was just going to be keeping it on top. <laughs> we were a horse thief there. See, Vanifar is really good if we get it in play. But still don't think I really want it over the rest of the cards, though. So can we get game three on the draw? We got the one on the play where our opponent missed land drops, you know, so that was an easy one. Can we get a third game on the draw? My avatar is of Vanifar, which makes sense because we're playing a Vanifar deck. Hmm. We're looking at turn two to rest. They could already have Curious Obsession going. I don't like that hand on the draw. I like this hand a lot more. seeing no Curious Obsession immediately. And I like that they don't have the unblockable one drop because Harpooner can block these one drops. 
the flying ones. All right, that'll be a cast down. Ugh, now I'm regretting putting that. I'm slightly regretting putting the Hinchelman Harbor down to the graveyard now because we don't have two green sources for Wild Growth Walker and Branch Walker. Deep freeze. All right, green source. Okay, we still got there anyway. So I could play the other wild growth walker and try to set up the branch walker for next turn, but if they counter the branch walker, then I'm in real trouble. So let's just cast the branch walker while we can here, gain the three life. Yeah, draw another card. So zero instants so far. So not really worth it paying two life to destroy a Terramander or they could draw like a there you go. Draw something that now we'll need to kill that Terramander. Of course, it would have been better if I would have shocked in for Crushing Canopy now. Ugh. That yeah, would have been a lot better now. Uh, so I guess I'm going to... I guess I'm going to destroy the Deep Freeze and have Harpooner block Terramander. And do I let them draw a card... Like, do I do that right now? Or do I do that after they attack? I guess I should probably do that right now. Doesn't it make more sense to destroy the Deep Freeze than the Obsession? Why would it make sense to kill the Obsession? If we destroy Obsession, they have three 1-1s one that are attacking me. If we destroy that, our Harpooner kills their Terramander. So, like, basically by by using the Crushing Canopy... Like, the Harpooner was useless anyway. By by destroying the that, we get the Obsession and the Terramander. We get them both. Wow, we have flooding out here. If we try to kill Terramander, the Storm Tamer counters it. So we basically got to kill the, the Terramander. Opponent flooded out real bad too. But we drew the Jade Light. That certainly helped. Yeah, I definitely have open spots today, Jolner. Absolutely. Um, like the Quasi Duple Ooze and the Grixis Discard, both of those are open slots. So yeah, good time for donation decks. Because I'm putting all the donations towards gem packs so we can get more of these 3D cards because they look amazing. So doing that all week, all the way through Sunday. The rest of the week is completely open. Uh, no donation decks for tomorrow through Sunday, you know, right now. So for anybody that wants a donation deck, perfect time. All right, we are 4-0. Oh. That means we are on to the final boss. So it is final boss playlist time. I <laughs> know, it's okay, King Toll. <laughs> yeah, y'all wanted me to kill the uh, Curious Obsession so bad because y'all have PTSD from Curious Obsession.
All right, well, this could be a, a 5-0. We're definitely getting the luck because we're using Vanifar for our Vanifar deck. Absolutely. No, not the no. The last we we went five one twice in a row with Vanifar, like a week or two ago when we played Bant, Bant Vanifar and the Sultai Vanifar. Both of these decks we went five one with the last time we played them. Moldy Ace, thanks for the bits. Drawing the diamond there. Cheers. Alright, we got a mirror-ish type match. Alright, adding a, a buck for Moldy Ace, and now 20 for the donation deck. Play it whenever. Alright. We'll play it over quasi dupla ooze here. Because Vanifar is doing some oozy stuff as well. Alright, so what do we have for our donation deck? Hmm. So next turn I go Vanifar. And then, what's the graveyard up? Hmm. A little worried about life total, how we're behind right now. If our opponent, you know, like has Chupacabra to kill our thing or whatever, cast down. You know, I'm just a little worried about life total, so not keeping that. Ah, so it's Mardu Angels. So, like, Vanifar is our best card to untap with. Hostage Taker, like, taking the Krasis is, like, our most, is the safest line. I'm going to go with the not safe line. Next turn, we can hostage take take the crisis, turn hostage taker into an ooze. Dang. So we have a Mardu Angels donation deck, and I guess I should split that up from Orzov Angels. So we don't have both of those. Right next to each other. Which then means we are moving Grixis discard up here. No, Dracula, the gems is the only way to get the 3D cards. So definitely glad they used finality before we started biogenic oozing. So does that sound good, Jolner? Have it at the end of the night? I know you said any time, but I just want to double check. How? Why did they ditch Krasis? What are they wanting to draw? I'm gonna wait a turn for our Krasis. Yeah, I guess, I guess finality. Alright, 
I'm gonna go ahead and take that one. Looks like we're waiting yet another turn on Krasis, but like now we could have Krasis for six and draw three, gain three. I'm just gonna take the thief though. Oh, I don't have a list for I I don't have the list up yet for the gates deck. I'll do that after, like between these two leagues here. I I have the list, but I didn't put it up on Stream Decker. Um, I can actually link, actually I can link you to the list here. There you go. That's our gates deck. They're all in on trying to draw this finality. Finality will keep our other ooze alive, our biogenic ooze alive, still. Hey, Balding Yeti. Glad to see you back on. I didn't need a shock there. Not really any difference between four and five, I guess. Finality, I suppose, but I'm not casting that. Alright, let's do six. I guess with it being five, I don't get to attack with that thing. <laughs> War of the Crazies. <laughs> Finality wouldn't have been that bad for us. It would have, yes, it would have killed out, killed four cards, but it wouldn't have been that bad. I found another one. It only kills three cards, which is really just two cards. You know, like one of them is our opponent's card, so it just killed our our hostage taker and our Jade Light Ranger. It's not really that big a deal. Trophy. So I was planning on just playing Vivian. I don't really want my Vivian trophied. Eh, Vivian can get trophy. That's not a big deal. Let's take we'll make this, this crisis even better. All right. We're up game one against the final boss. I honestly don't think we really have to do very much in this mirror. I think we are pretty well situated in the mirror. I think Contempt is like the one card that I'm kind of interested in. Because like the one way we're going to lose is if our opponent goes crazy with Vivian probably. Could take out a Reaper. Reaper is really good, though. So other con other cast down, other contempt. These are like the two cards that I'd be kind of interested in. Mirrors about Carnage Tyrant finality. I don't think those two cards are. Well. Finality's good, for sure. Carnage Siren, I just don't think is very good. As you can see how... I don't, I don't, I'm not even bringing in Carnage Siren. I don't, I don't care about it that much. Find Finality is certainly good. Find would be a good card for us to have. Let's trim one Reaper. And I'm not going to play the Contempt. We'll trade Trim 1 Reaper for the third cast down. Hmm. 
Hmm. This hand would certainly not beat an early thief. Do you think any of the new Amass cards or Planeswalkers will help out the Mono Black Zombies deck? I, guess I haven't I haven't looked too closely into what cards could help Mono Black Zombies with with those. Overall, I'm not that excited about the Amass mechanic for Constructed. Hmm. Think Mulligan. But we'll we'll see. But the amass cards that I've seen so far haven't really, like none of have stood out to me yet. The new Liliana is very good. The six mana one. So kept the branch walker on top to have something on turn two. Plus it basically sees another card extra for looking for a land. We did not get there, unfortunately. But cast down's an okay consolation prize. Where are these lands at? Yeah, it's certainly fine. Yeah, like you need limited mechanics and everything, and that's what a mask is. Striking me more as a limited mechanic than a constructive mechanic. I want to cast down this crisis and attack for three. Yeah. Well, if we don't draw a land next turn, we'll have to go to discard. So might as well just use our mana and cast a card. It's basically like us cast like like playing a three mana three two. Let's see if you the wilds are my shield. All right, and we're in there. You'll have to do better than that. Is it a land? No, ditch it. Come to me. <laughs> yeah, can the three two go the distance against a Sultai opponent with eight cards in hand? Probably not, but you never know. You never know. All right, well, we're too far behind now for Tyrant. Balance comes. Oh, I did forget to write 4 0. Good call. We're currently 4 0 and about to be going to game three. I'm gonna play in a gate over that third cast down.
All right, I'll take this one. So Wild Growth Walker, yes, it dies to removal. I mean, that's just like, you know, what creatures do, but Wild Growth Walker is like a card that kind of needs to be removed. Otherwise, you know, it you know gets really big and everything and it can be the biggest thing on the battlefield. So while it's eating removal spells, that means that there's less removal for cards like, um, let's go this land. Less removal for cards like Vanifar and Ooze and Krasis. You know, there's only so much removal to go around. And I do like how Wild Growth Walker can get above finality with just one Jade Light. So turn two Thief, pretty strong to get a hit with Thief before we Chupacabra it. So they took a card that's better than cast down. Hasha's Taker is great. So we're playing three of that card, that card's great. Certainly considering killing their hostage taker to get my wild growth walker back and then having Vivian kill Thief of Sandy then following turn. It's a consideration, but just going ahead and getting rid of the thief now. There could be another thief. Shock land. All shocks were down to twelve. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. So Krasis is the best card individually, but with all these wild growth walkers, I may want to take the branch walker. The problem, of course, with Branch Walker is it does not grow Wild Growth Walker over Finality. And with these Land War Elves, they could have Finality as early as this turn. The Wild wasn't meant to be contained. You can't stop nature. And we got a Vivian battle. No one knows the wilds like I do. So do I let everything die to finality? Yeah. So the thing about finality here is if they have finality, while it destroys my whole battlefield, it does not I've hurt seen my Vivian. And you know, like ultimating you. Vivian is certainly an important an important thing. That was the card I wanted to see, the very least, uh, out of any card. Not again. It's definitely the card I wanted to see the least. So I was want, really wanted to tick up Vivian again to, you know, get even closer to a Jade Light. Contempt's the killer. 
now they're the one with Vivian and I don't have one. That's a killer. Ah, most wounds can heal. Well, it looks like we're losing this one, but the good news is we do have an extra life. And we did tick up Vivian a couple of times, so we have like this... So like, the six cards at the bottom we know are not Jade Light. We haven't seen a Jade Light yet, so there's... Okay, well, we're dead. Finality good. But Vivian is just gonna kill us. It's the Vivian's the the problem. Being four no though, we have an extra life, so even though we pick up a loss here. Uh, it's not too, doesn't hurt us too bad. The wild because uh, we you know we get shield. another try to get that five wins. No, Wildgrowth Walker was not good for this this game, but I've had a lot of success with it in Soul Time Mirrors in general. We drew, you know, we just drew all four of them. And that's just not, you know, we don't want to draw all four Wildgrowth Walkers. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to start boarding it out. Since we... You know, Gerald Ford didn't have any Jade Lights to help him out. It's my most hype card from War so far. I guess the card I'm probably most excited about is Paradise Druid. We are final boss episode two. We had the extra life. Let's try again. All right, same matchup. It's a little ways away from casting finality. Ideally, we'll draw a fifth land to be able to play one of these things. We have we have some good looks at a fifth land because not only do we have our draw step. But then we're also going to be turning this branch walker into. Yeah, turn this into Jade Light. And there's the land.
And let's get Biogenicus starting before this finality. Next turn, we'll get another one. Yeah, they did not hit the land drop there. I'm just going to go back to the regular playlist. Alright, so we won game one. Which, didn't we win game one last time too? Oh yeah, Vanifar is amazing in the mirror whenever you get it going. It is, you know, just weak to finality. Like some of the other cards. I don't know what the worst matchup for this deck is, honestly. Honestly, maybe just mirror matches. That'd probably be the match I'd have the lowest win rate, either that or maybe mono white aggro. But I think this deck is good against mono blue. Mono red could be tough, but you have, you know, wild growth walker and stuff. No, I, I don't even know if the mono red would be that tough. play that next turn. We've had good success against Esper with this, and I have a lot of tools against the Wilderness Reclamation decks. But against other Soul Tide matchups, you know, we'll win some, lose some, kind of thing. So Vanifar is my best card to play here. But I kind of want to just hostage take her this Wow Growth Walker, get it out of there. What am I really doing with Vanifar anyway? I'm not doing a whole lot with it. Yeah, let's just hostage take her. I guess cast down is a, a problem for casting this. If they had cast down right here and just in response cast down, that would have been kind of bad. After taking the Wild Growth Walker, I don't care if they kill the Hostage Shaker now. They can have their Wild Growth Walker back now. I like that we reset it. Yeah, like that. That is perfectly ex acceptable. So now we'll have Vanifar out and ready to go. You're blocking there. What are you doing, Branch Walker? I guess you're blocking two. They should be ticking up. Oh, I guess they want to kill that thing, that's fine. But now they have to chump block with Wild Growth Walker. So that's an awkward chump block. I have Carnage Tyrants in the sideboard. Take no prisoners. Ooh, Chubacabra is a great draw. That's a good one. Hmm. That's that's really good. Relic Seeker is gonna be tough to beat now.
So I play Krasis. They minus Frasco to kill Krasis. Then where am I at the next turn? I could play Walker plus Vanifar. If they tick up, that's bad for me, but maybe they'll tick down. This is... Maybe, maybe they'll be scared of Vanifar and tick down. Okay, good. <laughs> you won't be good. That. Now they don't have the ability to kill the Krasis next turn. So hoping they don't find a removal spell for Krasis here. <laughs> Vivian, no. Ugh. Rasko Relic Seeker really good. Liliana from War of the Spark looks really good. I think it's I think it's real comparable to Relic Seeker. Crew, attack at will. I think it's probably better than Relic Seeker, but they're on the, the same kind of level. Relic Seeker just dominates. And I think you know I think Liliana's gonna be the same kind of thing. We don't see tons and tons of play because they are six mana planeswalkers at the end of the day. Liliana, of course, being single colored. Means it'll fit into more spots than the two colored Relic Seeker does. I'm gonna have to bring in my Contempt. I should have whenever I saw Relic Seeker game one, I should have brought in Contempt. No one knows the mistake. wilds like I do. We don't have an amazing top deck here, unfortunately. Like, there's nothing in the deck that will get us out of this. Like, Jade Light Ranger is like our best draw. Kind of sad. Hostage Taker would have been good. Hostage Take their Jade Light Ranger and then cast it. That, that would have been good. Beasts are much more reliable. Come to me. By now, I don't have the mana to cast the Hostage Taker plus Jade Light right now, so we're, we're just going with the Jade Light. I've seen things that would break someone like you. So, hope they don't hit something special to Vivian. Gem fund! Thanks, Jelly. No, that's the best, best possible proud. for them to hit. Thanks for the cheers, Jelly.
be interesting to see if they want to field of ruin one of my lands to make me to make me shuffle this Vanifar away or not. Thanks, Jelly. So what's what's this new thing with the with like the the cheers like you draw like you know you drew a pentagon there moldy ace drew a diamond what is what is that about that's a new thing Now we're getting started. The wilds are my shield. All right, let's let's start using. I should attack first. I should have attacked first to begin with. Maybe I just shouldn't attack it at all. I like getting a blocker out of there. No, I, we don't have any finalities. Balance comes. Especially find would be really good. That's something that's that I probably should have find in this this matchup. We haven't taken a host we haven't had a hostage shaker yet. Oh, we had one that was contempted, that's right. And we know we have one at the bottom because of Vivian. All right, we got Relic Seeker out of there. Oh, I'm just getting started. Now it's just them having Vivian, us having Vivian, kind of thing. Meet Hostage Taker. Friend. Okay, okay. Vanifar could do some work. That's a news. You better not. Okay, good. I didn't really check the auto tapping. I just checked to see that we had four mana to make a an news, and then I realized I should have checked auto tapping. So that's what I was about to say. You better not have left me with less than uh, three green. You can't stop. So they're gonna nature. ultimate their Vivian first. So, which means that we need to be aggressive and attack their Vivian. Hmm, that's a good one. So my Vivian. Okay, that's a good one. That'll do. What else we got over here? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Okay, Krasis is good. So let's see, one, two, three, four. So I can take Hostage Taker, recast Hostage Taker, take Wild Growth Walker, cast Wild Growth Walker.
And I think we want to sack our hostage taker, not theirs, right? Because fine finality, I don't want them to be able to get another hostage taker back. Even though ours looks prettier. So we'll sack that, draw a card. Go get another Biogenic Ooze. Oh, I don't have another Biogenic Ooze to get. Tilt. Tilt. They're both in here. I thought I only had one in there. Ugh, I had this other one in there from a really long time ago. I, I knew I had one, but I, I thought I had one left. Tilt. I don't know what I would really sack anyway, then. Balance comes. I mean, I could sack Midnight Reaper and get another Hostage Taker at that point. Every I don't really have a good sacrifice. A beginning. I could, you know, get a Chupacabra and kill their Wild Growth Walker. I don't know. I, I like that I'm saving this Midnight Reaper now. Like, I like Reaper to take her now. We can take this Krasis. I'm just doing this right now. We can cast their crisis. Do I want to play my own Vivian? Hmm. How do I want to do this? So. I kind of want to play two crisis so they don't get to just protect their Vivian with one, like a removal spell. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, yeah, I can make two five, five crisis. Cause I want them above finality also. That's not us drawing very many cards, but that's probably fine. That we don't draw that many cards. We already have lots of cards. I know that six, six and four, four would be better. As far as cards go. But I like that they don't die to finality. And... Attacking? They get to double block and have one Wild Growth Walker trade with one. Double block, have two trade with the other. So we can trade my two six sixes for Wild Growth plus Jade Light plus Branch Walker. All right. Hopefully they don't have two removal spells for Crasis's in their hand, and that they have to minus Vivian at least at least minus one Vivian to kill one. All right, JMC, I hope surgery went well. And yeah, glad you'll be here watching the stream for a while. <laughs> Get that out of here. They still have five mana left. The Incubation Druid in the two lands. It's 
see what we find here. I've lost. You can't stop nature. That's the card I wanted to see. Let's do this again. All right, got that out of there. We just don't, we don't really have anything for this Vanifar to do right now without having another Biogenic Ooze. I mean, we could sack Krasis for Jade Light, but that's not really worth it. Clones at 17 cards. They're tied with us now. As far as cards in library, as far as decking goes. But we're drawing first. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to have this ooze win this game. Come to me. All right, time to grow this wild growth walker. The honestly, the thing we have to be worried about is milling out. Definitely the thing we need to be worried about is milling out. Are they blocking 8-8s? Eight Jade Light Wild Growth Walker block 1. Not killing my Vivian. Finality would kill eight of my creatures. Yeah, that's the card they need to yeah. Using find is certainly what they need to do more than using finality. Definitely a better play than using finality is using find. And that's why I didn't kill her hot both hostage shakers earlier. We just have to have Vivian survive. And ultimate Vivian. They've gone through two trophies and one contempt. So it's possible they have another contempt. Meet my newest friend. What do I want to do with you, Krasis? How big do I want to go? Seven? Seven draws three cards. We go down to eight cards in library. Now 
9 we draw 4. I only have one I only had one negate in the deck. We don't we don't really have anything good left in our deck. I hope we don't draw lands here. I hope this is just a spell on top. I guess Chupacabra is okay. As far as spells go. I guess that would have been an okay card to draw. I guess I can still get that with Vanifar. I can destroy their 6-8 Wild Growth Walker. Not worth it. Oh, don't let me. Oh, come on. Ugh. Not bad for a mouse. That's not good. They had another contempt. I can't get my taker back. I don't know what you mean by get my taker back. Like these hostage takers are theirs. You can kind of tell by like the art. That one's that one's now mine. I can't, I don't have anything to get the, my other hostage takers from my graveyard. Like, I have one hostage taker on the graveyard, I had one on the battlefield under my control, and I had one in exile. Wild animals, I'm, the wilds are my shield. I gotta leave my cards in my graveyard or cards in the library. How many fine finalities have they seen so far? Just one? So they have another find? It's definitely not worth it for me to attack them and let them kill all these hostage takers. Beasts are all right, we're gonna mill out now. Feel the wrath of Scala. Yeah, we're gonna mill out now. That can't help you now. So we're at three loyalty, next turn four, next turn five, six, seven, eight, then ultimate. It's two, two and we needed to be able to ultimate. So it wasn't attacking because I really need. We needed to be able to ultimate this Vivian and then and then attack them, in like the the couple of turns we would have had. Well, this was a really long, crazy game. I mean, I guess I'll just attack.
but we're dead. Yeah, who knows? Our opponent couldn't mess up and everything. Who knows? But remember, y'all were saying, you know, concede this game like a really, really, really long time ago when our opponent was Relic Seeker. Remember when they had Vraska Relic Seeker and was killing us with that? That seems like forever ago. Seems like, you know, two or three different games ago. So the reason why we're dead here is because our opponent has more find. And they get to just have their hostage takers die, cast find, fi cast find, get back hostage taker, hostage taker, take our stuff. It's the huge problem where we're at. And so I didn't want that to be able to happen, which is why I didn't attack, because if we can just get to ultimating Vivian, these could all have trample and everything. And I was going to wait a couple turns to attack then. This is a 9-9. Nine nine. We'll kill everything but their hostage taker with that one. No one knows the wilds like I do. That went a lot better for us than expected. I was kind of surprised they just chump blocked so much. It only went a lot better for us for me than expected. Well, one of the takers was mine, Kuno, so that I assigned damage to. Do they not have find finality? They can't just not have find finality, right? Uh, we have five cards in our deck. They have five cards in their deck. But we're going to be drawing first here. Like, how do they not have a lot of other good cards in their hand? I think they would, right? Maybe they just have a bunch of land worlds. You can't stop nature. Gosh, I hope this put it puts it back in a random order so we don't get to actually see. Uh, hope we put it back for a good order for us. Please be a spell. No, it was a land. Ugh. Tilt. Yeah, 50% chance to draw a card with Branch Walker. Did not want to draw a card. That lets them activate their Vivian again. I'll just kind of keep all attacking and they can get their hostage taker back without Memorial to Folly. So remember, we are bringing in Contempt for sure here. Them having two Assassin's Trophies and two Contempts was was really crucial. They had one one. Uh, what is this? That's a three three. I'd rather kill the. I'd rather kill my chupacabra than their hostage taker. Thank you.
because they had used a contempt and a trophy. And we had a negate to protect our Vivian that was about to ultimate. And they had a trophy, a second trophy that we negated. But then they had a second contempt also. Yeah, this is our second final boss. We lost to the first Sultai final boss. We're on the second one. We're up a game. We're likely going to lose this game. <laughs> do we have time for another league after this match? Yes, we do. With our 12-hour stream, yes. This league has lasted two hours. So we're both at three cards now. The wilds are my shield. Hmm. Nope. Failed to find. It's unfortunate. It doesn't make sense to attack with Branch Walker, right? Even this 3-3, like that 3-3 gets eaten by Incubation Druid. So like Druid on the 3-3, Hostage Taker on the 2-1. And then they have three blockers for these three. Right, it doesn't make sense to attack with those two, does it? I don't think so. I need my opponent to draw a card. I need them to select something. Please select something. They did not. That branch walker hitting a land was pretty bad for us. No one knows the wilds like I do. Bottom card is clear the mind. Oh, that'd be so nice. I need my opponent to draw one more card. How do I get my opponent to draw a card? Can I give them this Midnight Reaper and then kill it? The spark trailer is amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It definitely makes me wish we had a, a movie or again. Netflix series or something like that for magic. I've seen things that would break someone draw it. like you. Draw it. They didn't draw it.
our our branch walker didn't really kill us. Our opponent would not have gone down to the the spot where they were at if if uh, we had the branch walker available. I think for how our opponent's deck is with you know focused on these planeswalkers and assassins trophy and find. I think I actually want tyrant in this against this version of our opponent's deck. And, you know, they're more focused on like hostage taker everything. Let's let's try this. Yeah, just going with the extra negate, not really any duresses. Going with extra negate though. New game. Time to settle in. Grab that popcorn. No, I'm not doing any kind of preview review today. Am I going to do Cycle Crisis as well? No, I don't really want Cycle Crisis. I wanted to contempt that bit. The Wild West balance comes. Contempt that, land our own Vivian. <sighs> Not dead yet. I've seen things that would break someone like you. So they still have seven cards. We only have five. They're doing good on the on the card battle. Graveyard that. Graveyard. Built. I'm a survivor. Come to me. All right, just double spelling here. Definitely think this Midnight Reaper is going to get cast down. Yeah. I thought our opponent had cast down. That's why I didn't want to play Hostage Shaker. And good. Let's Jade Light can trade with their Jade Light. Lighting in the sky. So right now they only have a Krasis in the graveyard. So if we trade here, they can get Krasis and Jade Light back with Fine Finality. What's gonna happen? Hey, Sloria, thanks for resubbing here for the second month. Our first subscriber of the day. Thank you so much. Gloria says, you've already counted me when I hit Prime again, so don't count me again. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess it was a recount from earlier. Anyway, what'd you say? So, this one, this box to stop appearing no matter how many times I exit out. <laughs> oh, and win game three. Okay, thanks. All right, we'll try to win this game no three here. No one knows the wilds like I do. Um, guess we grab this ooze, or do I keep grabbing chupacabras? I don't hate the land, honestly. Yeah, I don't hate grabbing a land. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. That'll be land number eight next turn. Let's take a land. Chupa? Hmm. 
This is tough. It really is. I'm going to land. I'm going to hostage the crisis and have negate available and play this watery grave in here. Have negate for a planeswalker like a Vraska or scars are lessons written in or a Vivian skin. or maybe find finality. Yeah, that's for double crisis. Probably don't want them to have double crisis. They're down to two cards. You, you have a whole lot more than two cards. Nature. Well, I certainly want Vanifar in play. Let's see how this goes. Vivienne. Meet. Would you like to so they're going to be looking for hostage takers. Soon. We're probably going to turn Chupacabra into a Biogenic Ooze this turn. That's not a good hit for, with Vivian there. Ugh. That's a pretty good last card to have. Balance comes. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to activate ooze. Ugh. Yeah, I only have two green mana. I think my plan was to, to activate Ooze here with this. That was my plan. I guess I could just throw out a, a Cycle Crisis. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I'll just Cycle Crisis. The wilds are my shield. Alright, but it doesn't look like they have any way to deal with the Vivian. We are going to get Vivian ult online here. How would you compare Arena against Magic Online? I think Arena is a whole lot more fun to play, and definitely love the graphics and everything more. It's a much more enjoyable experience. Yeah, I guess they they did have that look. They had they went with Crisis. They went for draw two they could look for contempt or trophy but they didn't get there and we finally finally defeated the final boss
even though it took us a long time. But we ended up with getting the 5 1 split against Soltai there. And we got 40 gems here. So we got 60 gems. Good. We need to start getting our gems back up so we can get some more um, some more prizes. Midnight Reaper was kind of our least impressive card throughout that. We didn't we didn't just really use Midnight Reaper too much. But still a real good card and it's a good good spot on the curve there to go along with the Jade Light Rangers. We just didn't end up really using it too much. It's really good against control decks in particular. I would not want to like take out Midnight Reaper, but yeah, the deck's pretty good. Uh, find Finality. You can certainly see us having a Find Finality in the deck. We talked about that. Uh, maybe playing like one Find over Hydroid Crisis. Uh, especially with Hostage Taker, you want to have Finds in those kind of Soul Tie matchups because you want to be able to rebuy your Hostage Takers. That's pretty important. And we are able to kill our Hostage Takers more reliably with having Vanifar that gets to sacrifice our Hostage Taker. So we can put it in the graveyard, rebuy it. So... Certainly a Find Finality would be a good option for the deck. Arena is free to play. Of course, you won't have like a full collection or anything like that with by starting off. But it is free to play. Maybe I just actually take out a Midnight Reaper. Maybe I take out one, one Reaper for a find. That could be the thing to do. Graces is just so good in so many matchups. That makes us worse against Desper Control, though. Reaper is a lot better against Desper Control than Find Finality is. It's a downgrade there. But it's Find is better against Aggro. It's better against Sultai. At least the Finality part, you know, if you're survived to that. Probably try that for the next time. All right, so that so there we go. That's Sultai Vanifar. So if you're watching this.